we're making deep dish pizza. So we start off with some mozzarella cheese, some pizza sauce. You're gonna add your pepperonis, mushrooms, provolone cheese, mozzarella cheese, and some onion slices and peppers, but you choose whatever you prefer to put on yours. I went ahead and used some garlic powder, some garlic parmesan, and some Italian seasonings. So basically to make this deep dish pizza, we're gonna go ahead and start off by placing parchment paper inside your skillet. But if you don't, like I didn't, I went ahead and used some aluminum foil and just went ahead and sprayed it with nonstick spray. So you're gonna start off by placing your vegetables, like your peppers, your onions, and then um, I placed mushrooms only on one side of our pizza because not everyone likes it. And then you're just going to go ahead and place the mozzarella cheese throughout your whole pizza. And I wanted ours to be extra cheesy. So I also ended up putting provolone cheese as well. Just to make it that much cheesier. We love the cheesy pizza. So I went ahead and added the provolone cheese and of course our pepperoni but you can add whatever you'd like. You can add Canadian bacon, you can add sausage, and even pineapple chunks. Okay, so what I did is I overlaid the provolone cheese completely so that everything could be covered with cheese, and then I went ahead and seasoned it with a little Italian seasoning and some garlic powder just for extra flavor and it makes a world of difference. The pizza sauce I purchased at Publix and there's two packages inside that one little um, container, but I went ahead and just used one and a half because it was gonna be too much pizza sauce for our family. You're then gonna go ahead and place the pizza crust on top and then just kind of tuck, tuck, tuck all the way around as far into the actual skillet as possible that way it's going to be a nice thick um, pizza crust when you pull it out of the oven and it's nice and crispy you're then going to go ahead and drizzle some olive oil on top and then i went ahead and seasoned my pizza crust with some garlic parmesan on top and then i went ahead and placed it in the oven you're going to bake at 350 for about 35 minutes, just keeping an eye on it. And oh yes, I poked a couple of holes in the actual pizza crust just to let out some of that steam and so that my pizza crust would stay nice and crispy. You're then going to run a knife through until you release it some and then you're going to go ahead and flip it onto a pie pan which I then broiled for an additional three to five minutes watching it closely because again, I don't want my pizza to burn. And here it is guys, the finished product. This deep dish pizza was absolutely amazing and the crust was so flavorful. I am so glad that we went ahead and seasoned that with the garlic parmesan seasoning and the cheese was so full of flavor as well. I seasoned it, if you guys don't remember, with the garlic and the Italian seasoning also. So if you're going to give it a try, I recommend that you season your cheese and your crust because it was so delicious. If you're new to my channel and you like easy recipes, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like.